The newest eruption in the Sunduka crater chains of the Reykjanes Peninsula, this is related to the sourcing volcanic system, is actually started like this, but well, over time gradually decreased. We can see that in the amount of the vigor in the three craters that are uh, visible in this view. This middle one and the southernmost one are now inactive. It seems they are not erupting anymore, but the last one, which is the north one, is erupting yet. It has actually surpassed what we had in the Fregades well. It seems that it's more powerful than the previous one. 43 million cubic meters of lava has erupted. 88.5 square meters of land is covered. And in just a few days, it has been as 65% uh, the lava output of the previous eruption. So it's quite active. It can be compared to the or is more comparable to the Fegedesville. It has erupted more than that, it seems, in the short, such a short period of time. The area of the land, the black area, shows how much it has erupted. You can see the Fegedesville in the distance in this view. Beautiful sight. You can see that the old Fegedesville is standing it proud against the Ram Hill. And this is not a Sununko. You can see that what a huge area. Of course, it's slightly closer to us. That was the view from the Grindavik, as you can see here, Grindavik uh, Harbor. The good news is that the Grindavik uh, Road is opening gradually. But, as we mentioned, the tremors over have declined, and you can see the trend in the purple and the green uh, line. The vigor of the eruption and the amount of the magma, which is that uh, blue line, blue-green line, has actually increased slightly. So, we have this situation. That means the lava output has not changed, despite that the only one crater is now erupting. That means the, uh, the walls, defensive wall around the uh, Swartzengi uh, geothermal power plant are yet at risk. The lava may flow underneath the hard crust of the uh, solidified lava, although the road can be opened, but any moment the situation may change. As from the previous eruptions, we know that the lava tubes will take over. We will have the lava flowing, uh, invisible, under the ground. This is apocalyptic view, practically, we have from the amount of the vapor and steam rising from this area of the volcanoes. And the night is more dramatic, as you can see. And the eruption is continuing, despite that the, all the craters have ceased activity, only one. And in the coming days, we will see that the gas pollution due to this eruption will increase and flow toward the eastern parts of the Iceland, southern Iceland mainly, but also maybe to the central parts. This is a dramatic situation actually in that sense. It may already spread to the Reykjavik, the capital of the Iceland.